Hey guys, it's your girl Carrie, and today I'm headed to Target to share with you what I won't buy from Target. This is a two part video because it ended up being longer than anticipated, and many of you have expressed that you would like to see shorter videos from me. Let's hope that I don't get kicked out while filming because I will be bringing in some of my own personal items so that I can compare and contrast. So let's get started. The first thing that I generally do not buy from Target are shoes. I say generally because there have been some exceptions to the rule, but overall I find that shoes at Target tend to be overpriced for the quality being offered. Also some of the name brands that they offer can be found for far less elsewhere. I'm going to select a few pairs of shoes and head on over to that little bench in the corner and show you what I am talking about. But first we have to go over today's principle that I want you to take away from this video. And that is, if something looks cheap at full price, its quality does not increase when it goes on sale. Ask yourself, if price were not a factor, would I wear this item? If the answer is yes, but the price is too high for your budget, then wait for it to go on sale. If the answer is no, then it does not matter what the sales price is because it's something that you would not wear. Now let's look at these really cheap looking shoes and here is a very cheap, as you can see it's already warped, plastic boot, low cut boot and I think these are now on clearance. They are, they were originally $34.99, they're on clearance for $17. The first thing you need to ask yourself, would I purchase this boot at full price if I had the money? And then if you wouldn't, I wouldn't even purchase it on sale because it's still a cheap looking shoe. Again, you can look at this shiny, just hard plastic uh, boot that is not going to hold up and it's going to look fake and crease. This boot was not on clearance and it was $34.99. Then you have this really, really cheap plastic looking, look at that. You bend it, it will just bend. This is just awful looking. These are $34.99 and they are also on clearance for $17. You can just look at all of that glue, how poorly constructed and cheap and plasticky these shoes look. I mean, I wouldn't waste any of my money spending 30 something dollars on these just subpar shoes. Now compare this nice booty. Again, this has a heel on it, so it's not exactly the same as this, but as you can look, it's a nice, supple, beautiful leather. It has beautiful lines. You don't see any of the glue on it. And these were only $29.99. So these were less than these, and I think they're nice. Now let's compare this shoe against this cheap looking boot here. Again, this is just a plastic boot versus something like this. This is genuine leather with a nice calf uh, hair, um, dyed calf hair in the leopard print. And again, you can just tell that this is a much better quality shoe and it is genuine leather. As you can see, as you poke it, I absolutely love this shoe. And look at the price on this, $19.99. And I picked these up from Burlington. So these were $34 and they are horrid. These are good quality shoes that are well worth over $150 for $19.99. Finally, I was looking for a dress shoe. They have these black like fake uh, suede or micro suede type shoes here and when you kick these like or hit them against like a sidewalk when you're walking, the tips of the shoes scrape the ground, they're going to look horrible. And these were 20 $9.99 and I was able to pick up these beautiful comfortable uh, genuine leather Michael Kors black pump and these were $28. These normally run for $100 but in TJ Maxx they had them on clearance for $28 and I believe the regular price in TJ Maxx were $49.99 but I picked them up for $28 and these are so comfortable and they wear so well. Okay, here is Target's version. It's kind of like a dupe of the designer 
sneakers and I'm going to compare this one against the Michael Kors sneaker and these here are going for $29.99 they have the mesh in the front and this little zigzag pattern and it's stretch to get your foot in now for $29.99 you get that from Target and here is the Michael Kors version I'm going to try to put those side by side as you can see the Michael Kors has a more stacked heel and much more luxurious details on it like the metal with the name excuse the back I've been wearing those they have the little details on the shoestring so that it won't fray they'll be easy to um, thread they have all the other little metal details here and the front of the shoe the way that this shoe is uh, constructed it is much better constructed and more comfortable than this shoe and I picked these Michael Kors sneakers up for $39.97 from DSW warehouse and these typically run for over 200 bucks versus the $29 one in Target let's look at the back versus the backs of these so again I got more bang from the buck okay let's look at a couple of like wedges and some booties open toe booties these right here are from Target again as you zoom in you see all of that glue just poorly constructed and again these are not leather they're just kind of like a textile upper and these are going for $34.99 they kind of cut across the top if you put them on and that's what you get for $34.99 and here you go with the espadrille wedges again this is not real leather or suede it's just like a textile upper like a micro suede and these are let's see I think they're these are $32.99 now in comparison if you saw my how to dress um, well on a budget I share these genuine look how supple this leather is these genuine leather with the zipper on the side shoe and these were $16.99 so they're half the price and you get real leather it's really supple and they're really comfortable these would definitely make the mark for me now let's compare this other shoe I had this wedge versus this wedge and again this shoe here was $16.99 I did save the tag for that one $16.99 and this shoe normally runs for a hundred bucks and you get an all leather shoe the leather strap in the back and suede on the front it's just a better quality put together shoe for half the price I don't know what kind of shoe this is but if you look at it, 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 it cost $22.99 and for a few bucks more, you can get some beautiful Chuck Taylors, the Converse from, you know, you can get the Converse from Marshalls or TJ Maxx or Burlington and that's a better uh, constructed, better quality shoe for the price. Or these right here look vaguely similar and this is a much better shoe. These are by Cole Haan see in the back it had its genuine leather in suede and these were $39.99 again they're double the price but the quality is significant compared to this one these usually these typically run well over a hundred bucks but again you can find the converse ones for $29.99 or something like this now here I thought this would be a great comparison now this is the first actual genuine leather this is actual suede here in Target they're a pair of loafers and if I had to choose something I probably would choose something like this because this is probably the best quality that I've seen in all of the shoes they had to offer but again the quality is not superb but it's just there these are going for $29.99 now they're a little bit rigid and hard on the foot they're not flexible and here I have these gorgeous as you can see they're kind of worn in because I've worn them quite a bit since I've shown my shoe haul from last fall but these are the Sam Edelman 
leather loafers in olive green and look how supple and comfortable tons of cushion and pliable the shoe is and in the back it has a lot of that reinforced detail and it's a real wooden heel as compared to this is just a plastic wrapped heel on this one and again these were $29.99 Versus my Sam Edelman's, I got out of Burlington Coat Factory for $17. Now these normally run, again, about $100. Bucks, but when you pick them up um, from the discount stores, because they're usually a past season, you'll get a better deal. So for se I'll take these for $17 versus spending $29.99 on these. And here's a little cheapy slide. These kind of mimic those um, big Gucci slides. And as you can see, if you kick the sidewalk, and that's what I'm talking about with these cheap plastic shoes, they'll just scrub right off. And this is before it even left the store. So these are not going to last all but one wear. And as you can see, you can see all that glue. These were priced at $24.99, and I think they're on clearance now for $17.48. Now, this is not the exact same shoe. It's, you know, not even similar, but it is kind of like a meal, a slide that you can slip on. Again, supple, genuine leather, beautiful suede tassels, a beautiful wooden heel. And these I picked up for 20 bucks. They're by the brand Seychelles, and these normally retail for 100 bucks. But I got them for 20 bucks from TJ Maxx. And I think these will hold up. Look at that, you don't see any glue. And you see that the way it's constructed, it's turned under, underneath the sole, and these will last for a good long time. And their combat boots are god awful. These are so, 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 so cheap looking. I mean, I would never buy these here. And these are going for $30. Now let's compare this combat boot to the one that I found in TJ Maxx so that you can see the difference in quality. And this is what quality looks like. You will never find this level of quality in Target. These boots are from Vince Camuto and they normally retail between $70 to $178 bucks, depending on what store you buy them from. And they are genuine leather and they are nice and supple but rugged enough to stand up to everyday wear. They have a nice um, detail on the bottom with the brass spikes and it's just a solid shoe. It has a buckle strap and you don't have to untie the entire boot each time you wear it. It has the zipper on the inside and you can do the scratch test to see if the leather is properly tanned and these boots are on clearance for $36. I would definitely pay $6 more for these boots versus those sad looking Target boots. Now if someone put a gun to my head and said, Carrie, you must pick some shoes from Target. Here's what I would pick from the selection that was available. These right here, these little heels I think are really cute. Now the front detail is made out of almost like a cotton denim type fabric. So again, that makes it, you know, it's a natural fabric. And you know, I only try to stick with natural elements or things that look as natural as possible. You don't see any glue. It's really streamlined. Now this part isn't leather, but it's not that much. So you won't get that whole fake leather look and your toes would cover up all of that. So really the only detail that you would really see is the natural part of the shoe, which is the natural denim. These right here seem perfect to go on vacation with. They're kind of like a rattan straw, you know, mule or slide. And again, these are made from natural fabrics. It is a, you know, straw fabric. Again, I would probably pick these simply because they're made of a natural fabric. These are kind of like a cotton or tweed type slide. And these are $22.99. I would choose those. These, like I said, it's very rare to find genuine anything in Target, but these are genuine leather loafers, a little blush colored loafer, and these are $27.99. And these over here, let's do a compare and contrast. One, this one, it's kind of like a mule with a short heel and the leopard print, and this one is a espadrilla mule. Now, I would never buy these because these scream cheap. I don't know if it's just a cut, the roundness, or what, but these don't look as good as these. Now, these, 
I think look better because of that natural material the way this one's cut and it's the exact same material I don't know if it's that round toe or what but these look a lot uh, cooler and more chic to me so I would select these look here these are some sketcher I think sketcher sneakers for $39.99 you can actually get the Nike version of these for $39.99. I shared those in the haul before. Well guys, I hope I stated my case as to why I typically do not buy shoes at Target. I tend to find better quality shoes for a much better price at other stores. Leave a comment below and let me know where you buy your shoes and whether you agree or disagree with my assessment. I know that many people are diehard Target fans. I personally am not loyal to any particular store. I am a value shopper and whatever store can give me the best value in terms of price and quality, that's the store that will receive my hard earned dollar. I hope this video was helpful and stay tuned for part two. And until next time, I'm going to keep calm and carry on. Bye guys.